So today we are going to discuss about end condition of column and its effect. So let's take the question first. What is the effect of end condition on the crippling load capacity of a column? The weightage in the examination is 4 marks. So as we have discussed earlier that PE that means Euler's crippling load and that is equal to pi square EI upon LE square where LE is the effective length. So let's try to understand what is exactly the value of the effective length from the different case or you can say different end condition of the column. So these are the different condition. So basically there are four different condition. Condition number one. So here you can see one end that is the fix and one end of the column is free. Second case both ends hinge. So here you can say this is the end one of the column is hinge and this is end two of the column is also hinge. Case number three one end fix and one end hinge. So here you can see one end of the column is fix and the second end of the column is hinge. Case number four both ends fix. So here you can see the one end of the column is fixed and this is the second end of the column that is also fixed. So in each and every case your effective length will be changed. So LE is the effective length. So in case number one the effective length is two times than the actual length of the column. So this L is the actual length of the column. It is multiplied by two then it will be your equivalent length in case number one. In case number two, effective length that is exactly equal to the actual length of the column. So this is actual length of the column and that is exactly equal to the effective length. In case number three, effective length that is 0.7 times actual length. So your actual length that is from here to here, this is your actual length and your effective length is 0.7 times than the actual length. In case number 4, your actual length is from here to here. So this is your actual length and effective length is half of this actual length. So I can summarize over here in this table. Case number 1, one end is fixed and another one is free. So your effective length is 2 times the actual length. In case number 2, both and hinge. So you can say effective length that is exactly equal to the actual length of the column. In case number three, one and fix and one and hinge. So your effective length that is L by root 2 or you can say 0.7L. So if you simplify 1 by root 2 then you will get 0.7. So you can remember easily 0.7L in case number three. So you can say it is L E 0.7L. In case number 4, both end fix or effective length that is exactly half of the actual length. So you can say it is one half of actual length. So you can say it is 0.5L. So in the examination you have to draw all these four different cases and the table. So thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.